Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Battleships are giant armored warships built to rule the waves with their incredible firepower and heavy armor. The first battleship, known as Dreadnought, marked a revolution in naval warfare with its advanced armament and speed. However, their importance truly peaked during World War II, a period that saw the deployment of some of the most formidable battleships ever constructed. Although the battleship era of power has diminished significantly due to the shift to the U.S. Navy aircraft carriers and destroyers equipped with missiles, ships like the USS Nimitz are respected universally for their historical landmarks. Today, it is common for these massive ships to require some moderate assistance from specialized tugboats to simply maneuver within tight harbors from their sheer size and tenor, allowing for a limited range of motion. In March 2024, a monumental operation took place on the Delaware River the towing of the legendary battleship USS New Jersey, BB-62. From its museum berth in Camden, New Jersey, to the dry dock at the Philadelphia Navy Yard, this marked the first time in over two decades that the historic Iowa-class battleship was moved. The USS New Jersey the most decorated battleship in U.S. Navy history, served in World War II, Korea, Vietnam, and the Lebanese Civil War. Decommissioned in 1991, she now serves as a floating museum. However, time and river currents take a toll on any steel-hulled vessel. To preserve her for future generations, the ship required a thorough hull inspection and maintenance work that could only be performed in dry dock. The operation began with the careful coordination of tugboats, divers, engineers, and Navy personnel. Tugboats were attached to strategic points around the 887-foot battleship to ensure a safe and controlled movement. Escorted by multiple tugboats, the New Jersey made the slow, five-mile journey downriver. The transit required coordination with the U.S. Coast Guard and port authorities to temporarily halt nearby commercial traffic. Upon arrival, the New Jersey was gently maneuvered into dry dock number three. One of the few remaining docks large enough to accommodate a ship of her size. Once secured, the dock was drained, exposing the battleship's massive hull for inspection, cleaning, and preservation work. Tugboats come in various types depending on their function, including harbor, seagoing, and river tugs. Seagoing tugs, also known as ocean tugboats, are designed for long-distance towing and are built to withstand harsh ocean conditions. Despite their powerful engines and sophisticated systems, aircraft carriers have the same vulnerability as any other big ship. That is, they cannot maneuver well at low speeds. 
Because they have a traditional propeller and rudder setup, the amount of water moving over the rudder is insufficient to allow them to turn and avoid obstacles when they enter and leave a port, dry dock, or other areas close to land. This is where tugboats become essential yet again. Even though aircraft carriers weigh upwards of 100,000 tons, the tug's powerful engines allow them to move the massive ships through shallow waters easily. Using a combination of pushing and towing, the smaller vessels are able to maneuver the carriers around obstacles and into deeper waters where they can once again move under their own power. A modern design of a tugboat is the Spitzer Tier. A Danish tugboat constructed in 2011 for escorting ships in European ports. The Switzer Harbor Tug is a powerful workhorse, guiding giants through narrow channels and ensuring precision in every harbor move. Tugboats, either large or small, perform a critical function in global maritime operations. Whether the job is to navigate through a busy port or assist in working with heavy-duty ocean towing, While tugboats operate in the vast expanses of oceans, rivers, and harbors, performing complex maneuvers to guide and tow massive vessels, similar precision and coordination are also essential in entirely different environments, such as aboard aircraft carriers. Just as tugboats handle the careful movement of ships, Specialized equipment and skilled crews are responsible for maneuvering aircraft within the tight confines of a carrier's hangar bay. When the aircraft on a carrier are not in use, most of them are secured in the hangar bay. This area has a total length of more than two-thirds the total size of the entire vessel and is capable of holding at least 60 aircraft and heavy equipment like spare engines and fuel tanks. Basically, the hangar bay can be considered as a giant garage for fighter jets and helicopters. With its three decks high, the bay is surrounded by several compartments, as well as having multiple safety measures such as fire suppression systems. To move the aircraft to the flight deck, the crew uses spotting dollies, which are three-wheeled vehicles similar to tractors with hydraulic arms at the front. They help to maneuver the jets through the tight spaces of the hangar bay with precision, The hangar bay also includes the workshops and maintenance areas where technicians can perform essential repairs, checks, and refits on the aircraft. Critical components of the aircraft, like the pressurization systems and oxygen to the ejection seat, are under constant inspection and upkeep. This forms part of the preventive maintenance programs that are regularly performed. However, the training of the crew not only involves prevention, but also corrective maintenance. As part of the maintenance department inside an aircraft carrier, the tire shop is in charge of inspecting, replacing, and cleaning all aviation tires and rims. Oh. 
The trained crew members inspect the treads of the tire to see if the part needs to be placed into a beyond capable maintenance status, meaning there is no chance of repairing the tire. If possible, the tire might get into a deconstruction and reconstruction step for later use. Considering that the hangar bay is at least three decks high, it has several elevators capable of moving the aircraft to the flight deck when needed. These powerful hydraulic elevators can generate enough force to lift two fighter jets, or a total of 74,000 pounds. Readiness to any situation is key for the crew members of the carriers, which is why constant training exercises are carried out throughout the year. Inert training bomb movement is done from the magazine to the flight deck during flight operations. <laughs> Munitions like the 500-pound MK-82 bombs are transported using specialized load carts that move around the carrier through the use of the inner elevators leading to the upper deck. Then, the munition is transferred into the lift trucks for loading the aircraft. Being a training exercise, the bombs contain no explosive material but an inert one to keep with the original weight of service ammunition. All the ammunition and weapon systems of the aircraft carrier are stored in the weapons magazine. Here, the specialized rooms have blast-resistant airlocks and several safety devices, including a system to flood the compartment with seawater in an emergency. Also, Redundant systems and backup plans are implemented to ensure continuous operation in case of any emergency. Considering these safety procedures, not only is the weaponry of the vessel itself stored here, but also the weapon systems of the aircraft that are stationed on the ship. During naval operations, the aircraft carrier's magazine is used to manufacture ordnance for the ship. This vital process works like an assembly line in a factory where the highly trained crew members build the ammunition to be ready for the mission. Knowing that the urgency of the missions requires it, Weapons have to be built on a tight schedule as a number one priority. Thanks to this, each piece of ordnance is built by a team of 10 to 15 people to obtain the piece with the required quality and time. From the mighty dreadnoughts of the early 20th century to the cutting-edge aircraft carriers of today, Naval power has always relied on a mix of brute strength, precision engineering, and the dedicated efforts of skilled personnel. The U.S. Navy traded heavy guns for air power, redefining sea dominance with the rise of aircraft carriers. With sheer force and precision, Tugboats prove that even the mightiest warships rely on their power to move.
that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.